Hi, and thanks for joining me today. In this segment, we're going to take a look at a recent update to Autocrat. Now, if you've not used Autocrat, Autocrat is a great little tool that you can use as an add-on to Google Sheets. And what it does is it takes any responses that you have in a Google Sheet that have come from a Google Form, and it merges those responses with merge tags in a document you've created. So it's a fabulous tool if you're wanting to use it to merge information from a registration form for a club or an organization in your school, but it also works great if you're using a rubric to grade oral presentations in your classroom. Now what I've done here is I've set up this rubric in a doc and in the column where I would normally write in the point values for points earned for each of the items in the rubric, I've put merge tags that will match up with the questions that I've created in my form. Now the key thing to this is that in the rubric I've put a section for the student name and the student's email address. And so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to open up the preview tool and fill it out. And I'm going to put my email address so I can see an example of how this works in just a second. We'll go ahead and place some scores on here. And of course, the way I've set this up, you actually have to add the values up in your head. But if I can't add those numbers up and get 14, there's something wrong with me. So put that value in and hit submit. And so now I have a response in my sheet. And that should show up. There it is. And so now what you do is you go to your add ons menu for your response sheet and we're ready to use Autocrat. If you haven't gotten Autocrat, just go to the Get Add-ons option and search for it in the add-on store. But once it's there, you just click Open. And the new version of Autocrat, for those of you that have used it before, is very slick and it's easy to use. It's a great little interface. The first step that you have to take is to name your merge job. So we're going to click New Job and I'm just going to call this one Rubric. Click Next, and then it asks to choose the template that you're going to use. Um, it shows that I've recently used this one, so I'm going to click Use, but you could also just search for it in Drive. And now it's trying to find the tags in my document. And so it sees these tags in the document, and now what it needs to do is it needs to match these tags with these columns. So Intro would go with this first question. Conclusion goes here. Info goes with info gathering, and then structure goes with structure and organization. And then finally, we have a total and total points earned. So now I know my columns will match up with these tags that are in the document. So I, I go back to my response sheet, click Next on Autocrat, and next it wants to set up a file naming system. So each time a teacher fills out this rubric and submits data that needs to go out to a student, it's going to create a new version of this document. So from here, I can set up a file naming structure and I can click this little pop out and say I want to name this by the student name. So I click on student name and it copies it to my clipboard and then I can right click here and hit paste. And then I also want to use maybe, for instance, um, something else like their email address or maybe a timestamp. But in this case, I don't need to, but I could add anything else that I wanted to in here. Or consequently, I could just type in rubric grade. And so in the document, it would appear with the student's name and then the words rubric grade. It needs to know what format I want to save this in in Google Drive. I'm going to leave it as a Google Doc because that won't take up any storage space in my drive. And then it wants to know how to output this. Now typically in the past Autocrat would send an output file for each individual one, meaning that you would have multiple documents. And that's the classic mode. But now you can actually output all of the responses as one single document. I don't want that so I'm going to leave it alone and I click Next. Then it says it needs a folder to store these files, so I click Choose Folder. 
and I already have one set up and it's called rubric folder so I choose that but I could have searched for it up here if I wanted to then click select and then next now on step six this option is now called dynamic folder reference but it was actually always there in the past it was actually referred to as adding a secondary key folder but in this case they've changed the name of it I don't need to add a secondary folder so I'm going to skip this step and go to next and then step seven allows you to set a merge condition now this is also optional but what it means is that it will only merge data in one of these rows if for instance a column contains a value or does not contain a value in this case I want all of my rows to merge and form a new document so I'm also going to skip this step and go to next and then finally on this step this is where we can share our document and send an email now in my case as I'm grading these projects I want the students to have immediate feedback using their Google Apps for Education email so I am going to share this doc you have the option of sharing this as an editable doc or any of these other options but in my case I want to choose a PDF now you may remember a few steps back that we set it up to merge the document and save it as a Google Doc but in this case this option is how the document will appear in the email when it is shared in this case I want it to be a PDF file in these two steps you can allow collaborators to reshare I don't want students to reshare that document so I'm skipping that and saying no you can also send your email out to students with a no reply address so in, in other words instead of my email address being in the from line there would be a new reply email address I don't necessarily need that I do want them to know it came from their teacher so I'll leave that as a no now in this step this is where we set up our email so in the to line I want that to be sent to the student so I'll click on our pop out click on student email address and then right click and paste that remember anytime you click on any of these tags it copies it to your clipboard in the reply to line I'm going to put my email address and in the subject line we're going to put the student name and rubric grade for project now below that we can type a message and you can still use merge tags in the subject line just as I did here and in the message if you'd like and I'm going to leave a short message for the students so I'm going to drop that in there real quick so I've dropped my message in there and you're going to notice a couple of things like I said you can use merge tags I dropped the students name in there and in my message I told them their final score and again because one of my merge options from the rubric was the total points earned I can drop that in here and then of course I've also told them that they'll have a copy of the rubric showing their score for each standard as an attachment to the email click next and this is asking me what I want it to do as it merges each job I want it to run the form as I click submit on the rubric so I'm gonna hit yes and I'm gonna leave the time trigger off I don't necessarily need this to run on a certain time so that is our last step so now I'm gonna hit save and it's saving our rubric and we're done so you can see here this is our existing job the one we just made when we're ready for it to run remember what it's going to do is take these values merge it with this document and then email it to the student now in this case I've filled out the form as myself so you can see the email when it's done so let's go ahead and click the play button to run this job and now it's running the rubric and as you can see over here on the right hand side of our spreadsheet it will start to add columns here where it will show links to the merge document and the status of that merge right now we only have one row so it should happen pretty quickly there it is and we're done so now I can close this autocrat window you might have heard the little ding on my phone there I just received an email so let's go check our email and see what it says before I do though here's the link to the document that was created it was for Joe and it's his rubric grade it said the document was successfully merged and emails were sent to that address and here we are his score is in the email as it was supposed to be he got a 14 and if we click on this attachment we can see his name 
his points for each standard, and then the final score. So that's a quick rundown on how the new Autocrat works and also just an idea of how you can use forms and Autocrat for rubric grading when you do oral presentations in class. Hopefully this was a helpful tutorial for you. Uh, thanks for joining me in this session and if you have more questions feel free to check out my website at www.techiecoach.com.